Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, especially about the 2023 presidential election and its aftermath. One of the news that is trending is uh, the increment in the salary of Bola Metinubu and other elected public officials in Nigeria. Uh, this has prompted Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, to react. And, uh, and Peter Obi has faulted the proposed salary increment for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Vice President Kashim Shetima, other politicians and judicial staff by revenue mobilization, allocation, and physical omission. Now, recently, the chairman of the commission, Alaji Mohammed Shehu, who was represented by the commissioner from KB State, Mrs. Bukaya Tanko Ayuba, on Tuesday, had uh, recommended an upward review in basic salaries of political and judicial office holders. The, that report generated a lot of controversy on social media as Nigerians berated Aswadibola Metinu for calling them to sacrifice for the country following the sudden removal of fuel subsidy without providing palliatives for the public for the Nigerian citizens. Meanwhile, going ahead to increase the benefits for politicians. Now, in the heat of the public outrage against uh, salary increment for Tinubu and other politicians, uh, Revenue Mobilization and Location of Fiscal Commission spokesperson, Christian Wachuku, however, said that the proposed salary increment has not been approved, that it is still in the proposal stage. Uh, but reacting in a, in a series of tweets on Thursday, Peter Obi wrote that uh, I learned with great reservation the approval of 114% increase in the salary, in the salaries of elected politicians, including president, vice president, governors, lawmakers, as well as judicial and public office holders by the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission. Obi said, Obi said that this is not the appropriate time for such salary increment, if it is at all necessary. Of course, at a time you are asking Nigerians to tighten their belt, you are thinking of your own welfare. It is your own welfare the welfare of Tinubu and other elected officials that is of concern to him. So Peter B is spot on in condemnation of this. And there is something suspicious about this, in, this increment they did. They put judicial officers and Tinubu have, is having a case in court. Is this a, a, a case of trying to win the hearts and minds of judicial officers by increasing their salary? Because if you look at the list, they didn't mention that they should, that they should increase the salaries of teachers by 114%. They didn't include that they should increase the salaries of nurses by 114%. They didn't include that they should they didn't, they didn't include the salaries of extension workers by 114%, agricultural extension workers that goes to the villages to help farmers. 
but they were quick to add judicial officers, means the justices and what have you. Is it because their case is being looked into by the judiciary that only the judiciary was mentioned that they deserve 114 percent increase in their salaries. Nurses were not recognized, doctors were not recognized, teachers were not recognized, civil servants were not recognized. So what I what is what is their game plan for putting only the judicial workers? All the other ones are politicians. But they put in judicial workers, judicial officials. What why why pick why put in judicial officers? Why not education officers? Why not medical officers? Why not agricultural extension officers? So Nigerians should watch it very well. That this thing they want to do is not in the best interest of the country. It's for their own selfish interest. And it is good that Nigerians have reacted negatively against it. And P2B, who is the last man standing in terms of men of integrity in politics, has also laid his voice onto it. And I think, despite the denial they are making, this they, they wanted to carry out this thing. They wanted to do it. Don't be surprised that this thing has been approved, but they are now claiming that it was not approved because they are getting backlash from Nigerians. Let me give you a, a, a example. When the Trust newspaper wrote that Tinubu has devalued the Naira, they denied it. And Delitros wrote that story and put a figure of about 640 Naira to the dollar. That that's where they put it after the devaluation. And they, were, they denied it that it's not true, that there was nothing like that. But Delitros was smart to stick on their story. They said that they stood by their story. They didn't uh, deny the story. They said, we stand by our story. What happened a few days later? They devalued the same Naira. And instead of calling it devaluation, they said they floated the Naira. Using semantics to confuse Nigerians. You floated the Naira. What is the difference between floating the Naira and devaluation of the Naira? It's just like trying to find out the difference between Eba and Gare. At the end of the day, <coughs> excuse me, when they did this, the Naira was floating around that same figure that Daily Trust said. So who is fooling who? So don't buy the idea that uh, it was just a mere proposal. It has not been approved. They want to take care of themselves. The economy is biting hard, inflation is high, and everything, but they want to take care of themselves instead of taking care of those who supposedly elected them. Who supposedly elected them. Because Nigerians know who they elected. Because even going by the vote alone, you know that Nigerians rejected as well in as what Bola Metinubu was declared winner of the election with 8.7 million votes. Atiku Abaka got 6.9 million votes. Pitobi got 6.1 million votes. Kwan Kwasho got, got 1, 1 million votes. Now, if you calculate the votes of Atiku Abaka, Pitobi, and Kwan Kwasho, it's almost about 15 million votes that are rejected as what Bola Metinubu. 
That's fact. You can go and do your go and recalculate it. 15 million people voted against us. What? Going by the annex results. Of course, those results are not reliable. That's why they have been challenged in court. Then another thing is this. Remember that uh, Aswad Bola Metinubu's wife was boasting the other time uh, that, that they, they, they are not going to government to go and take money from government, that they are, they are well off, that God has taken care of them. If that is the case, why is Aswad ready to accept 114% increase in his salary? They are well off. Nobody is doubting them that. In fact, in fact, they are among the richest, if they are not the richest family in Nigeria right now. But can they do the honest thing that Donald Trump did in America? Donald Trump was a billionaire before he became president of America. And throughout his stay as the president of America, Donald Trump never collected $1 one, he didn't collect, he was not receiving salary. He said, I don't want to collect salary, I want to serve. The only thing they paid Donald Trump was $1. He collected $1 annually to symbolize that that is his salary. Tinubu, with the kind of money that is believed that he has, which the wife has confirmed, since she said they are not in government to, to touch Nigeria's money or that they are satisfied financially, ought to have been working for the reduction of the salaries of those elected officials. In fact, the, those elected officials ought to get, take a pay cut so that the money generated from the, from their, from the cutting their salary will be used to add to the welfare of Nigerians who are suffering, passing through her, following the removal of fuel subsidy without palliative to back it up. That is what they should do. Cut the salary of these public officials. Tinubu should publicly announce that he will not receive salary like Donald Trump didn't receive salary. And then, we know that they are really serious and that the wife was right when she said that they don't need Nigeria's money, they have enough. But in any case, it will be is right. The only people that deserve salary increase right now are ordinary Nigerians, civil servants, teachers, nurses, who are sweating it out in our various villages and communities, the unsung heroes of Nigeria. They are the ones that deserve 114% salary increase and not the selected politicians. Many of them, their elections, questionable. Despite that, they are more concerned about their own welfare instead of the welfare of ordinary Nigerians. Thank you for watching this video and if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video, because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. God bless you and yours.